good morning dear children this is mp gupta from kendri vidyalaya lonawala today i am going to discuss about few points of the unit 7 class 12th p block elements as we know in our board exam total 7 mark questions are asked that is 2 plus 3 plus 2 generally this is the uh, system 2 plus 3 plus 2 out of these two two mark questions are asked related to the structure of the compound the structure part related to that what i am going to discuss not only important for the board exam but for the competitive examination also first i am going to write the question just see the question then i am going to explain one by one suppose the question is asked mention the hybridization and predict the shape and geometry of suppose these are the molecule BCl2, BCl3, ammonia, CH4, H2O, SnCl2, SnCl4, NO2 minus PCl3, PCl5, SO4, 2 minus ammonia man, NH4, XCF2, xenon difluoride. xenon tetrafluoride xenon hexafluoride xenon oxide trioxide xeof4 etc it is very easy to predict the hybridization and structure of the molecule i think after this class you will be able to answer these questions within 10 second to discuss these first we have some little concept of the valence cell electron pair repulsion theory theory what we have already studied in the previous class in class 11 so just i want to recall your memory regarding the VSCPR theory, valence cell electron pair repulsion theory. We have to know the central atom of any compound. The electron gained by here electron, the valence electron. First, we have to know the valence electron. plus electron gained by bonding that is bonded electron if these are the electron valence electron of central atom and electron gained by bonding r 4 6 8 10 10 12 and 14 this electron not electron pair we can convert into the electron pair the electron pair will be 2 3 4 5 6 and 14 the hybridization will be sp sp2 sp3 sp3d sp3d2 sp3 d3 and the shape linear this is the linear geometry planar ya triangular tetrahedral 
ट्राइगोनल बाई पिरामिडल ऑक्टाहेड्रल एंड पेंटागोनल बाई पिरामिडल पेंटागोनल बाई पिरामिडल दिस इज द रेगुलर जोमेट्री If there is no lone pair of electron, this will be the regular geometry. This is tetrahedral, trigonal, bipyramidal, octahedral, pentagonal, bipyramidal. But if there is lone pair, if lone pair of electron is present, then what will be the shape and geometry? In case of linear, if there is one lone pair, suppose this is the lone pair, the shape will be bent. R V shape. In case of tetrahedral, this may be conditioned in several compounds. If one lone pair of electron, it will be pyramidal. Instead of tetrahedral, now the geometry will be pyramidal. There are two lone pair of electron. This is. bent r v shape if there are three lone pair of electron condition may be it will be linear case of trigonal bipyramidal suppose there is one lone pair of electron there is the position of first lone pair of electron the trigonal pyramidal shape will change into the sisa if there are two lone pair of electrons this is the position of two lone pair of electron its shape will be this one this is later alpha weights that is t this one t shape suppose there are three lone pair of electron this is the position of lone pair 1 2 3 this is the shape this will be linear but in all these cases there is no change in hybridization hybridization will be always sp3 d for this one for this one for this one and for this one similarly in all these cases sp3 here sp3 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 sp2 planar sp3 bent in case of sp3 d2 that is regular geometry is octahedral suppose there is one lone pair of electron that what will be the shape this is the shape one lone pair it is a square pyramidal if there are two lone pair of electrons this is the shape that is a square planar and one case in case of tri trigonal bipyramidal sorry sp3 d3 pentagonal bipyramidal suppose if there is one lone pair of electron i'm drawing here one lone pair of electron the shape will be distorted octahedral in case of sp3 d3 pentagonal bipyramidal this is the regular geometry if there is one lone pair of electron its shape will be this this is distorted octahedral these all these things we have already studied in class 11 just we have to recall once again i'm 
explaining here this four this is the first you find the number of electron valence electron of the central atom and electron gained by bonding if the valence electron and electron gained by bondings are 4 6 8 10 12 and 14 the regular geometry regular hybridization for 4 will be sp 6 sp 2 8 sp 3 10 sp 3 d 12 sp 3 d 2 and 14 sp 3 d 2 d 3 and the regular geometry for sp linear sp 2 planar sp 3 tetrahedral sp 3 d trigonal bipyramidal sp3 d2 octahedral sp3 d3 pentagonal bipyramid this is the regular geometry if there is no any lone pair of electron suppose is there if there is any lone pair of electron its shape will change in case of linear i think there will be no any such compound in planar if there is one lone pair of electron its shape from planar will change into the bent or v shape in tetrahedral if there is one lone pair of electron it becomes pyramidal two lone pair this is the position of two lone pair electron two lone pair electron bent and 1, 2, 3, 3 lone pair of electron. This is linear. And trigonal bipyramidal, if there is one lone pair, put here the one lone pair of electron, it becomes CSA. Two lone pair, this is the position of two lone pair of electron. This is T shape. Three lone pair, it becomes linear. In case of octahedral, if there is one lone pair of electron, it becomes square pyramidal. Two lone pair of electron is become a square planar. And in case of pentagonal bipyramidal, if there is one lone pair of electron, it becomes distorted octahedral. These things we should keep in our mind, predicting the hybridization and geometry of a molecule. Now on the basis of the VSPR theory just I have just discussed, how can you predict the shape, geometry and hybridization of a particular compound? For example, suppose I am taking here some examples. And after this, I will take the oxo acids of sulfur and phosphorus. For example, BrF3, I am taking just first example, BrF3. What we need, we do not require the any atomic number of any element, just only the position in the periodic table. We must have the concept of the element of central atom, not for the bonding atom, central atom, the position in periodic table. Here the central atom is Br say central atom N, central atom nitrogen, central atom of xenon, central atom xenon, central atom xenon. So we must know the position of this in periodic table. We are as we know this is halogen, it belongs to the 17 group. 17 group, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, astatine, this belong to the 17 group. So for 17 group, this outermost electron is 7. seven. 17 group means 7, if it is in 13 group 3, 18 group 8, 16 group 6, 15 group 5. So 17 group, it, we have to take only this one 7. So it becomes 7 plus 3 bonding atom, do not see where fluorine is in periodic table, only the number here 3, it means 3. 7 plus 3 that is 10, see the table just I have drawn previously, if it is 10 in the table we find that there is sp3d hybridization is sp3d and its regular shape is this one that is the matrix is trigonal bipyramidal regular one first we draw the regular structure then see here there should be five bonds there should be five atom because the c is the number of electron and the pair of electron will be five half of this one or here is the five bonds one two 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, but the bonding atoms are only 3. It means 2 are lone pair, 2 bonds are not bonded that is lone pair of electron and we know the position of lone pair electron in this case, if there is one lone pair electron here, if there are 2 lone pair of electron it will be here, it means the shape will be here the central atom Br, rest position F, F and F, the shape this one, this is T shape. So the answer will be hybridization sp3d and T shape. Don't write trigonal bipyramidal. Similarly, in case of 
x e f 2 central atom is xenon and xenon belong to 18 group of the 18 group in periodic table 18 means 8 outermost electron is 8 plus number of bonding electron is 2 8 plus 2 10 again we get 10 10 means sp 3 d and the regular symmetry will be this one trigonal bipyramidal and shape is this trigonal bipyramidal this is a regular one but here the bonding atom are only two it means there are three lone pair of electron so one electron lone pair here second year third year it will be here will be the central atom x e f and f the shape is this one that is linear linear similarly x e f 4 suppose xenon 18 group 8 plus 4 do not see it in periodic table f the number of atom 4 8 plus 4 12 for 12 hydration is sp 3 d 2 and regular geometry is octahedral this is regular geometry first you draw the regular geometry octahedral then see the number of bonding atom for bonding atom there should be 6 half of this 12 6 bonding means there are 6 bonds 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 but the number of bonding atoms are only 4 it means there are 2 lone pair of electrons and this is the position of one lone pair of electron this is the position of second lone pair of electron so the bonding atom is x e f sorry central atom x e bonding atom f f and f and the shape will be square planar these are the examples for those these are for the neutral atom neutral molecule not for ionic here are two ionic compounds and two other molecules having oxygen at bonding atom there are certain rule for this the c for the compounds or molecules having oxygen at bonding atom for example xe o3 the same way first we find the central atom here the central atom xe then find its position in periodic table it is 18 then what will be the valence electron that is the outermost electron 8 for 18 8 17 7 16 6 15 5 14 4 so 8 will be the outermost electron do not count the number of atom which is oxygen bonding atom if there is oxygen as bonding atom ignore it do not count it so 3 is not counted 